Now, how does that work? Wait a minute. Black lives matter, but we can murder 35 million of them? How do you get that? How do you get that? Yeah, I mean, my body, my choice. We'll tell that to the 35 million black babies that have been murdered. What about their choice? Oh, they don't get a choice. They don't get a choice. Well, that's exactly what Adolf Hitler said about the Jews. They're not real people. They're just a couple of sales. They don't have to They don't get a choice either way. They do, they're just, they're just, that's what slaveholders used to say about black people. They're not real humans. They're, they're, they're animals. They're not, they don't even know what's going on. Kill them. Use them however you want to. You see the hypocrisy. Some people are just not in the position to bring a baby into the world. According to who? You guys. If a, if a woman gets pregnant, then God in his sovereignty and his providence has determined that that woman is most definitely equipped to bring this baby into the world. Every time someone has a baby, it's hard, my friends. And I wouldn't even dare say it's impossible, apart from God's grace, to raise a child. It's impossible. It's hard. Okay, what if she's raped and got pregnant? Now, that's a good question, right? Now, we need to address this question. So, let me ask you a question. So, excuse me for being personal. Were you raised with a father? Yes. Okay. Now, if your father, God forbid, went out and raped somebody, do you think that you should be murdered for that? What? Yeah. If your father... What? I know, now, I know this, is, this, is, this is beyond 101 logic, so you're really going to have to use your hand on this. Should I be killed? Yeah. How does that make sense? That's what you just advocated. No. You said if, if the baby's father rapes the mother, then the baby should be murdered for it. No, you're not. that exactly what you just advocated for? I'm asking if she is forced to bring the baby into church. Okay, again, my question was, is why should the baby be murdered for the crime of the father? But we're asking you about the woman. Again, let's ask the question again, because no, no one's no, answered no. it yet. No. Why should the baby be murdered for the crime of the father? It's not made by this. It's made by this. Okay, ma'am, aren't you just a clump of cells? So can we murder you? Sure, but you, see how this you guys works? want to murder me yeah, anyway? I'm gay. We don't want to murder you. Yes, we you want to tell do. you about Christ. You were just You're talking about how homosexuality is a sin. It is a sin. That doesn't mean we want to murder her for it. You guys just killed a trans woman these past few weeks here in Lubbock. Who's you guys? The people who do not believe that being trans or being gay is right. Well, are they in jail now for killing someone? I don't know. They should be. Okay. Well, that, that wasn't, I didn't do that. Anyways, it says, Do not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. That's what we said. Homosexuals was added in like the 1930s. Was it? It, it was. It wasn't. It it's not, and it wasn't. No, there's two words for homosexuality in the Greek. Both are used. One is for the one who is the partner, and one is for the one who is the receiver. To be, you talk about hypocrisy, but yet you don't That's love in the Greek. us. But see, you say I don't love you because I tell you the truth that you don't like to hear. No, no. See, true love works. That's what it comes down to. True love is not someone who pats you on the back and flatters you all the way to hell. Because when you, see, if that happens, now we don't want you to go to hell. That's why we're telling you these things. Because notice it says that you won't inherit the kingdom of God if you are a homosexual. But Paul is writing this to people who are former homosexuals. Once they got converted, they turned from that sin of homosexuality. They turned from sodomy. They turned to Christ. Their sins were forgiven. Just like me, I was a drunk. I, you know, I did other things too. When God saved me, I turned from those sins. I'm no longer a drunkard. I no longer identify as that. I no longer do those things. Why? Because God has had mercy on me. That's what we're saying. If going to heaven means that I can't be myself, but I don't want to go to heaven. I know, I agree. You're comparing alcoholism. But see, that's the problem. See, that's you love exactly yourself more than you love Christ. Christ says to deny yourself. See, you love yourself so more than you love, love Christ. Yourself, then? Who the hell love yourself you? enough to deny yourself. That's what it comes down to. If you truly loved yourself, you would deny yourself so that you'd have everlasting life. I'm Think a about very that. happy lesbian Christian it doesn't woman. Seem like you're, Thank well, don't say you're Christian. Oh, you cannot. Oh, you're, wait, you're, wait, so you're more Christian than I am. Yes, ma'am. I am a Christian, but you're not a Christian. Oh, thank you. Love thy neighbor. You are not a Christian. That's what the Bible just said. You are not a Christian. Did the Bible just say that? It said, do not be deceived. She's been deceived. It says, do not be deceived. She's been deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Aren't you an ex drunk? You just said that. I'm no longer a drunk. That's the difference. She's wow. over here identifying and saying she's a practicing homosexual. She's proud about she it. She's is. boasting she about it. Them. Exactly. Well, God can change that. That's what I'm saying. No, no, no. Oh, for sure. You're an idiot. Why are you calling me names? Sir, 
I was the most impressed in my life when I denied the fact that I was a lesbian. Was I part of the, cur the church? Yes. But now that I am part of the church and I have accepted that I am a lesbian. Which church? A Catholic church. That makes sense. Oh, I am. Yeah, no, it does. It makes perfect sense. They let anything go. I mean, Joe Biden's a Catholic and he kills babies. Hi, guys. I mean, yeah, they don't, they don't, yeah, go talk. That's definitely, I mean, they don't, they don't care. You know, there's no standards.